So, before I get to the main topic of this video, I just want to talk about the news that broke out in the past 24 hours about Harry Maguire receiving bomb threats at his home. I just want to say that I wish Harry and his family the best in these challenging times and that I personally do not condone any bullying, uh, discrimination or violence against any player. It's just football. It's just a game. So, who is responsible for this Harry Maguire situation we find ourselves in? Now, obviously, Harry Maguire has a part of responsibility, but to me, he's more of a symptom of a dysfunctional club. The real people who are responsible for this debacle are the decision makers. That group of people who thought that Harry Maguire was good enough to be a first choice center back for Manchester United, that he was worth 80 freaking million pounds, that he's worth 190,000 pounds a week in wages and that he is good enough, charismatic enough and inspiring enough to be our club captain. That group that includes the likes of Ed Woodward, Matt Judge, Mick Fellen, every incompetent scout that we have at that club and oh yes, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. These are the main people who are responsible for this Harry Maguire uh, situation. And we are paying the price because of mistakes that people made in the past. So how do we move on? And how do we change things for the better? Well, if you ask every Manchester United fan out there, well, they'll tell you the same thing. Sell Harry Maguire. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? But of course, you have to be realistic, right? Uh, while a lot of managers and coaches around the world uh, still respect Harry Maguire as a player, I think that he's a good player. He's not stellar, but he's got his qualities, right? I don't think that any club in the world is gonna make an offer for Harry Maguire this summer simply because he's broken. It's a PR issue. Think about it this way. So he cost us around 80 million pounds. So Manchester United would only entertain uh, bids in the region of between 30 to 40 million pounds. Right? After all, he's English. We know how overpriced English players are. Um, when a club pays 30 to 40 million pounds on a player, they do that not only because of the player's ability, but also to build excitement among the fans, right? Do you see Harry Maguire as an exciting transfer target, as, a, as an exciting sign-in? Think about a club like Newcastle United, for example. They have 30, 40 millions to spend. Do you think they'll spend it on Harry Maguire? Do you think those Jordi fans are gonna be really excited and ecstatic that they have Harry Maguire in their ranks? I don't think so. And so this is why I think that it's like near mission impossible for Manchester United to actually sell Harry Maguire. But that's not the end of the story. There is another way we can get Harry Maguire out of the first team. And this is how. Well, this is what I like to call the Smolin Lingard experiment. Okay, both Smolin and Lingard left Manchester United initially on a loan where they were not fancied by any club on uh, in Europe or in the league. But after uh, a good season, for in the case of Smolin, and a good half season in the case of Jesse Lingard, both had offers. In the case of Lingard, West Ham and Spurs were interested in taking him. I think the bid was around 15 million, considering that his contract was ending in the end of the season. And Smolin, who moved in for around 18 million pounds to Ice Roma, right? Manchester United should definitely entertain uh, a similar solution to the Harry Maguire conundrum, right? Think of clubs like West Ham, Wolves, Brighton, uh, Everton, if they stay up, right? Uh, probably even a club like Crystal Palace and Newcastle. They could be interested in Harry Maguire not as a permanent sign-in with a transfer fee, but as a loan sign-in that could definitely be a good marquee sign-in for them. And uh, the way a deal like that would work is basically we could get four to five million as a loan fee for him, and then they could pay nearly half of his uh, salary, which is around 190,000 pounds a week. So they could pay around 95 or 100,000 pounds a week for him. Now, this is good for Manchester United from for two reasons. The first one is that we would save between eight to 10 million pounds. 10 million pounds that could be invested in another area of the pitch. So that's actually something that could be financially interesting for Manchester United. But the other reason also is that Harry Maguire would put himself in the shop window. Right? If he plays for a team, let's say like Brighton, and he starts every game, well, then he's gonna be in contention for uh, to be in the World Cup squad with England, right? Which again will rise his stock uh, a little more. Um, if he plays week in, week out, then that gives him a chance to uh, a chance of redemption, right? A chance to show the haters that he's actually a good player and that he's not a meme, right? And so that could be amazing for Manchester United because we get him out of the squad. It gives us a chance to rebuild our centre-back position. It also is inter interesting for us financially because that's quite a bit of money that we're going to be saving. But also it puts him in the shop window. That means that uh, come summer, 
they could be a lot of teams who are interested in lining up with transfer fees to take him off our hands. So what does that mean as far as squad management? and squad building are concerned. Well, I am of the opinion, you may agree or disagree with me, but I think that Bailly and Jones have to leave this summer. I see Bailly as a very interesting sellable asset. I think that clubs like uh, Marseille and Lyon, as well as Rennes, who are probably gonna be in the Champions League next season, would be interested in a player like Bailly. Many Premier League clubs or clubs in Italy or in the Bundesliga or Spain, where he played for uh, Espanyol and Villarreal, could be interested to take him. A fee of uh, 15 to 20 million pound, that's not unrealistic for a player like Bailly. Uh, and Jones could probably leave the same way Matic is leaving, by mutual consent. Um, so if Harry Maguire leaves on loan, that leaves us with just Lin uh, Lindelof and Varane. So then it gives uh, Eric Ten Hag and Ralf Ragnick the opportunity to sign one star defender. So a very good defender by star. I don't mean someone who is really famous, but someone who has that potential. So it could be a young 23, 24 year old center back who is clearly first choice, who is better than Varane, better than Lindelof, and who would clearly improve our uh, defense. So that's, he would be first choice, right? Then Varane and Lindelof would fight for who's gonna be second choice or third choice. And then for fourth choice, we could actually get a youngster from the academy. There are quite a few interesting center backs uh, in the youth setup at Manchester United. Some kid from the academy like uh, Will Fish or Reese Bennett, two very interesting ball playing defenders um, who could be pretty good uh, fourth choices. Uh, another option also for uh, a fifth choice in case we have an injury crisis or we are suffering from suspensions or just overall fatigue um, is uh, Bubakar Kamara. Uh, a lot of people know him as a defensive midfielder, but actually he started off as a center back and only later evolved as a defensive midfielder. Uh, Eric Ten Hag really likes technical and athletic and aggressive uh, defenders uh, like Bubakar Kamara. He doesn't really like tall, big, lumbering center backs like Harry Maguire. So I think if you bring in someone like uh, Kamara on a free, he could uh, cover as a defensive midfielder, but also cover as a center back in case we really need uh, more coverage than the four center backs that we have. And I think that's going to give us more balance with Varane being the experienced star center back. Um, another recruit, a new center back, which could be young, but also that has a high ceiling, a high potential to be a star center back in the future. Victor Lindelof, a young kid from the academy, and then a player like Bubakar Kamara who can cover at number six and at center back. So how would you solve the Harry Maguire equation? Please leave a comment in the comment section below with your ideas and cheers.